yes, we are talking about future. And uh, we are also in a podcast that is called Neuro Careers, doing the impossible. Uh, what is something that currently might seem as impossible? Do you personally want to make possible in the future, in the field of cognitive neuroscience? Sure. So, yeah, I think one thing that is, uh, so for from what I have experienced, uh, the, the presently impossible thing is uh, making things available, making skills available to all and especially to children as we are perceived as. But as youth or uh, as teenagers, um, we bring a lot of energy on the plate when we join universities after our schools and, you know, uh, junior colleges, we are like, you know, uh, we are on fire and we just want the correct direction for our fire to be, you know, directed. But if that uh, youth energy is not directed well, they just go to vain and uh, we struggle there later on in our lives. So that's what I experienced with myself and my mentor, my present day mentor gave me the guidance that I required as a, an undergraduate to develop skills that I'm using today uh, as a professional. I want to establish a lab, firstly, where I provide opportunities to undergraduate students where they can uh, study, they can learn everything that is required for them as an individual, right? whatever they want to learn. And then I can direct and more, or maybe or my lab can direct them towards doing that particular thing, using their existing skills and talents and their power. And most importantly, self-learning is a very important skill that many of the students bring. They just do not know where to use that self-learning skill, right? Because there is no good content. I mean, we are all online. There's a lot of content. There's a lot of feed but we do not always know where to feed, what to feed our brain in fact. So I think to create those kind of things where we make the schooling, we make the grooming of our future generations so uh, so restricted to you know research or maybe so restricted to what they are, de they are made for as, as we call it. I really believe in the idea that we all uh, are, uh, they, we all, we all, are, are born with some inherent skill, some inherent, you know, uh, attraction to one thing or the other. And that is what creates the balance in the world. Maybe if I and uh, you were not interested in the field of neuroscience, how would we be, you know, uh, ha having so much of development in the field of neuroscience? Who would be doing it if we were not born with the interest? So I think everybody who is, who is born with the skill, who is born with the talent and, and the attraction towards the field, should be nurtured that way. So that's how we uh, bring on uh, the combination of nature and nurture together to you know, create better uh, persons of the future. And yeah, as a person, as an academician, uh, if, I, if I go on to complete a PhD, um, I really want to do something which is translational and which is the need of the hour, right? Our field is a little subjective. We, we look towards the future, but what about the present? If we are not able to pre preserve our present, how, how about the future? <laughs> how is that going to be happening? So I'm still looking for a very translational problem that I can work on. And I'm taking my time in the research field to explore ideas. And uh, let's see what I come up with. I wish you all possible success with finding uh, what, what you want to do and implementing it. I'm sure it will be absolutely amazing and it will create a great impact on uh, the world and people around you. Uh, Manvi, you have beautiful ideas, you have wonderful energy to implement all, all of that. Mm -hmm.